Hey guys, it's Roy Day and we are in the midst of the almighty coronavirus panic. But um, it's Friday today and at the moment we don't have any restrictions to say that we can't ride our dirt bikes specifically, so we're doing it. We're still in isolation. We've been in isolation since we were at home to the car. Made one small stop, but we made sure we were in like yeah. social distancing. Filling up, filling up the bikes with petrol is probably the the one weak point, but we wore gloves and all that stuff and stay away from people. So yeah, hopefully we're all good. I mean, not symptomatic or anything, so we're not out there spreading disease. No. Also, some other big news. Some of our friends might already know. Uh, this is going to be our first ride together as husband and wife. We <laughs> tied the knot on Wednesday. Um, how funny is that? Nat booked that date. Um, ages ago six months ago oh, four even, months ago yeah a bit more than that more yeah and it was the very last day that you could have a wedding yep uh in queens in australia now with more than five guests so even though it was only a small wedding um we got in close and it was pretty lucky yeah so yeah i think as long as we um play it safe and be a little bit um cautious today and don't end up in the hospital ourselves wasting hospital beds and all that stuff yeah. and resources uh, i think we should be right um mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully nobody will get upset about us coming out here and having a bit of a brap. Just want to say real quick, if any of you guys are looking for cool stickers like this one, or this one, or this one, they're all in our little web store. It's a secure PayPal payments. You know, that's enough. Blah, blah. Let's ride. <laughs> So yeah, it's the first ride back after the little arm injury too. Um, Nat pulled out the stitches for me yesterday, so we're good to go. <laughs> also, today we're trying to map out a bit of a track for our next ride with the big 950 Super Enduros, Alistair and Moz. So we're going to try and find some new tracks and, and link up a few that we already know. both got really pretty good condition tyres on at the moment, the golden tyres, um, and they're quite new so Well we're up but man if I don't start riding better we're going to be in for a hard <laughs> slog, well I am anyway I am too, don't worry <laughs> <laughs> Well, this was a good track, but uh, the lantana's growing wild out here. This bloody lantana is worse than the coronavirus, I reckon. Look at it. <laughs> Absolutely. It hasn't been that long since we came through here, and it's just gone mental. I don't know how exciting this video is going to be, but if you're stuck at home with nothing better to do, then it's probably going to be pretty good to you. Yeah, boy. 
right along here somewhere that we've got to go through. It's got to be that way. Got to be. There's our gate. Alright, we found our truck. Finally. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe how much that lantern has grown in that amount of time. I mean, I know it's been no ideal conditions for the flora to flourish, but <laughs> it's just out of control. Thankfully, we're getting a bit of a break from it here. For now, that's it. You snap that shit off. <laughs> so anyway, it was a nice little wedding, wasn't it, darling? Yeah, it was delightful. It was very nice. We had it uh, up at one of our favourite lookouts. And she's already finishing my sentences. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, one of our favourite riding areas up at the lookout. And uh, while we were waiting for the bride to arrive, I heard a couple of bikes uh, rolling around down there and I spotted them. I didn't um, see who it was or anything, they were a bit far away. But it turns out it was Mad Dog Jesse on his RDO <laughs> having a cruise around. So yeah, be cool. Throw a couple of photos up here if anyone wants to see them. And uh, Nat got these jerseys made up for us, Mr. and Mrs. And mine says MVDBR on the back. Mm -hmm. So in the last video, some of you might have seen, I put up a bit of info on the screen about Lant this Lantana ship. Um, now the main reason that we hate it so much is well, A, because it grows out over the tracks really fast looking for the sunlight. And uh, the leaves are, well, they're rough and horrible, but the main problem is, I don't know if you'll be able to see the spikes on that stuff. It gets you around the neck. Ooh, ooh. It rips your skin off, trust me. There's other worse vines out here that have really, like, quite long, sharp spikes, and they, they do a, a worse number on you, but this stuff's just everywhere. And it, it just rips your skin apart. And... This is only a thin part, but the uh, wood of it does actually grow quite thick too, and that can, you know, stab you when you're riding through it. It's really easy to just snap off and, and you know, get it out of the way, which is good, but still a pain in the ass. All right, so I've just thought of a, a series of tests to make sure that she's worthy of being a moto chick wife. First one is getting over this log here while standing up on the pegs and not touching your feet to the ground. Oh, you can go back a little bit there, get a nice run up. It's got a little kicker in front of it, just no worries. It on. It's a tiny log. Yeah, but... It's probably only 30 centimeters off the ground at the top, if that. video than usual guys I'll um, try and get a bit more footage and leave a bit more footage in the edit so I think we've gone at the moment from 
liking a nice short sharp sweet video is so something that's gonna entertain us for a bit longer because <laughs> we're all stuck inside all that crap This is a track that Nat wanted to check out last time we came through here, so have a look. Such a pain in the ass when you find these cool little hill climb. It's not a hill climb, but it's a it's an uphill track, which is fun. It really knows riding up hills on a dirt bike, that's what it's all about. Um, and then it comes to a dead end. <laughs> so, you know, when you're trying to make a loop, it's uh, not much good to us. Bike just died. Bike Accidentally hit the kill switch. No, well, I didn't. It's just like sitting over here like this. Yeah. And then it just sounded like it was it died. <laughs> That's gold. So we put uh, new chain and sprockets on Nat's bike um, yesterday. Yep. She was running a 1452 um, gearing on it, and she's pretty happy with that. Now we already had a 13 tooth with the front. Um, so to say buying another front one, we just went to a... I don't remember. <laughs> Was it a 49 or a 48 or something? I think it's a 50. Or a 50? <laughs> so I think we've gone to 1350, which is only one tooth difference on the rear at the end of the day. So it should be very similar to the gearing. Does it feel any different to you? Same? Yeah. It won't be much different. Not noticeable. Two teeth different. In the rear. Yeah, but um, 1452 equals 1349. Oh, okay. On the back, right. so yeah, it's one tooth on the back difference. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at all the butterflies. Yeah. I much prefer them to the worms that they used to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all over our bloody jerseys. Yeah. Oh wow, how neat. <laughs> Another slippery bridge. Whoa, whoa, shit. You all right? Yeah, I just skidded and then lost my balance. Oh, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, test number two for the wifey. <laughs> A slightly bigger log. <laughs> you go coming down this one, Alistair. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like much on the GoPro, but she's a steep old hill. Africa Twin made it up this one though. <laughs> Can't believe Mad Nick rode up this. Yeah, it looks horrible now. Yeah, she's a bit more rutted now, but. <clears throat> Test number three. Oh, 
on the road in a minute. Okay. 
absolutely hectic. I don't really mean to. <laughs> There's a little bit of whiskey throttle. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a big fat dog. I just spotted challenge number, probably number four or something, for the Moto Bride. <laughs> like a boss. Challenge accepted. Miles and Alistair. I hope you blokes can handle that loop. It's pretty sweet. About uh, 70, 80 k's or what. Fair bit of single track. It's good, eh, Darwin? Absolutely. It was sick. And you passed all your little wifey tests with... <laughs> with uh, Flying colours? Yes. <laughs> all that's left is big purple. <laughs> no. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye. Stay safe out there and don't get no viruses. Bugs on the screen. Piss off. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we are. Mm, all right, let's. <laughs>